I actually, yeah, I told them like, uh, 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 I was like, nah, I, I don't want to do it. Then you will. Sigh of relief. Yes, sir. Tell me what this last week, I mean, from last Wednesday to, to today, what's it been like? Uh, it's been very hectic, you know, like besides the other schools that I was just considering, like other schools like from everywhere just started calling me, different things like that, trying to get me to get them a look and different things like that. So it got kind of hectic in that, but like I just started telling them, I'm going to just go with my heart. My heart was at UGA, so I'm going to go with my heart and what my dream actually was. What, why, why, the, why the change? Obviously, Coach Olbrick, but why the change? Um, actually, uh, before I even signed the papers, like I didn't sign any papers Wednesday, but I told Coach, regardless, uh, I wasn't going to send any papers because like I wanted to fill in the field within. So it just, I was, my heart was telling me a dog in my back, so I'm just a dog, you know. Have you just changed the way recruiting is going to be done forever and ever? Uh, well, I wasn't looking into it like that. I was just looking into it, do what's best for me. And this is best for you, and, and that means just signing the grant and aid. Tell me about that. Uh, like, in case, like, I'm real close with Coach Pruitt, Eck, all them guys, like, they just leave what they want by the summertime, anything like that. It'll give me a little option, but I know they're going to be there, so I'm just happy to be a dog, 100% committed. Is it... I mean, is it something that other guys should look into? I mean, is, is it, did you feel kind of, I don't want to say betrayed, but are you misled by the whole process? It was a little misleading, but, you know, I can't blame, I can't blame them. You know, life goes on. That was in the past. I don't live there anymore, so I'm a dog. All these people, you know, obviously we're coming from Atlanta. A lot of people are asking me, is, is this guy worth the wait? What's he, what's he, who are you as a football player? What are you bringing to the table? Uh, I'm bringing a lot, man. Uh, hard, hard work, give everything I got, and just ball. You think things will finally be quiet here in Montezuma like they normally are now that you've sent that off and, and, and kind of closed the book a little bit? Definitely, because I won't be entertaining any of those colleges, so I'm just 100% committed to Georgia. Colleges call, I won't answer different things like that, so I'm just happy with my decision. Are you amazed at how national this story's gotten? Uh, well, I, was, I wasn't looking forward to it, to being national. I was just, you know, taking my time doing what I thought was best for me. So that was best for me. So it ended up happening like that. When you look at this class at UGA, I know Trenton came up here last week. Um, what, are you, what are you seeing from this class? Uh, I've actually been talking with Trent, Terry, all those guys, man. We're actually going to room together. Okay. Yeah. So you already got it, you got it planned out. Terry, another guy that had to make a big decision. How tough is it? Uh, guys like me never got recruited when we played high school football, but how tough is it to go through this process? It's very tough because different schools offer different different things about them. So like, you'd be like, oh, this school has something like this school don't, but this school over here has something that this school don't. So it's just a lot you have to weigh in, but at the end of the day, you got to do what's best for you. And I thought the University of Georgia was best for me, so I'm 100% committed here. And I know you get calls from schools at all hours, but you also get calls from people like us at all hours. Are you hope, hopefully going to be glad to hear less from recruiting websites, less from media than you have? Yeah, it, it, it won't be as much. You know, I'm 100% committed. I'm not opening nothing back up. I'm a dog. You regret anything about last Wednesday and the decision and doing it on a, a national stage? Well, I don't actually regret it because, like, it actually showed me who was some of my true supporters and who actually st stood up for me, like, regardless of why I went, anything that I saw. So it kind of helped me shade out a few people. The nice thing is now, you don't got to change the wardrobe. You're a red and black bulldog in high school, red and black bulldog in college. Yes, sir. Ready to be a dog playing in Sanford Stadium. Next time we'll talk to you, we'll be after game, hopefully in a locker room somewhere after a big win, right? Yes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So the XML first. Just <laughs> what, in fact, he signed? and Georgia's the place for you? Like, you know, a lot of coaches bounce around, and but, like, you should go to a school for a school, but coaches help shape that program. So looking at that in case, which I know Coach Pruitt, uh, Coach Rick won't leave by the summertime, but it just gives me a flex flexibility in case one of those guys do. But, like, I'm 100% committed to Georgia. My, it was my dream come true, and I just want to go play for Georgia regardless. What advice would you give to next year's class, the class of 2016, and, and when they're going through this over the next year? First off, keep God first. You got to thank him each and every day. Then you got to just do what's best for you. You can't worry about what other people think of you because you're the one who has to live this life. And you know, you got to wake up at five o'clock in the morning, go to early morning workouts, go to school there. And it's just all on you. So you're the one going to be living there. So do what's best for you, don't.
Who's been, obviously coach has been a big part of this, but who's been supporting you through this whole process? Uh, my family, my parents, my coach, uh, everybody been supporting me, uh, some of my close friends, my community also. So I'm just really happy and proud to be a Bulldog and they support me 100%. So coach told us against Lamar County, you're toting the rock a little bit. Nick Chubb goes down, you feeling confident? <laughs> I'm on the defensive side of the ball at UGA. <laughs> but but if, if you had to. Anything to get on the field.